Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel and today we're gonna be talking about systemic pesticides or insecticides but the very first thing that we need to know is to understand kung ano nga ba ang ating mga systemic insecticide. Kapag sinabi nating systemic insecticide, these are kinds of pesticide that is absorbed sa ating pinaka plant and will be distributed nga all throughout the tissues ng ating plant or succulent until it reaches nga yung stem, yung leaves, yung roots, and even the flowers ng particular plant na nilagyan natin ng systemic insecticide. We also need to know na they are water soluble. So every time we're gonna be watering yung ating mga plants or succulents na may systemic insecticide, that's the time now na ma-absorb ng ating plant through its roots yung systemic insecticide na nilagay natin sa kanya until nga it will be distributed all over the different parts nitong ating mga succulents. We have to use them kasi syempre as part of gardening, hindi talaga maiwasan na there would be some insect pests na pwedeng makasira sa ating mga succulents or plants. Napakadami nila like for example we have the millibugs, ants, aphids, scales, at kung ano-ano pa. Those are easy to deal with pero in the previous weeks nga nagkaroon tayo ng pest infestation dito sa ating garden. Una nga dyan is we have yung ating white grubs na nakatira sila sa pinakailalim ng ating soil. So this one is an actual or a real and alive example of what a white grub would look like. Ayan sila. So nasa ilalim sila ng ating pinaka soil and makikita naman natin na napakabilis talaga nilang mag dig in and therefore syempre we cannot know whether or not yung ating succulent or plant has white grubs sa kanila, tiba? Napakahirap malaman yun. And also, we also had some issues with our weevil. Yun naman yung talagang nang bubutas ng mga dahon ng ating mga succulent. Something na ayoko talagang makita dito nga sa ating garden kasi yung damage nila is already permanent and napakabilis nga nilang mangbutas ng leaves ng ating mga succulents in just several minutes they can move from one succulent to another so just imagine that one kaya it's best to prevent them using yung ating mga systemic insecticide if we're gonna be asking if safe nga ba silang gamitin well for me personally I would say na lahat naman nung mga nilalagay natin sa ating mga succulents have their pros and cons diba we cannot completely say na safe na safe sila it it would also depend kung anong brand ang gagamitin natin kasi there are those systemic insecticides na they are effective but they are highly toxic not only to pests but also to our pets and us humans. While on the other hand, meron din naman tayong mga systemic insecticides that are safe to use especially sa atin kasi syempre we also need to protect ourselves diba yun yung pinaka priority natin our health and therefore if we're gonna be dealing with our systemic insecticides it's best nga if we're gonna be wearing yung ating mga gloves or mask yung ano lang naman basic personal protective equipment that we can use after applying systemic insecticides and if na punta na yan sa system ng ating mga weevil, ano nga ba talaga ang nangyayari? So in the previous weeks, we had an experiment ng ating insecticide. If you haven't watched that one, you can check our previous videos para mas updated kayo sa ano nga bang nangyari before. But here is an actual na picture. We could assume na itong weevil na to has already beaten nga or eaten yung leaves ng succulent na nilagyan natin ng systemic insecticide. Ito nga yun, yung ating Echeveria mini bell. And in few days time, ganito na nga ang nangyari sa kanya na parang nanghihina na siya kasi yung ating mga systemic insecticide, they would now affect yung central nervous system ng ating mga insects in general which would now result in paralysis. May kita naman natin na parang involuntary na yung movement ng kanyang legs. This particular insect cannot control yung kanyang legs already and eventually it will lead to failure to feed, hindi na sila kakain and eventually die. Now that we understood kung ano nga bang systemic insecticide, 
we will now be focusing nga dito sa pag-repot itong ating succulent na ito. This is where I first discovered yung grubs sa kanyang pinaka-ilalim by accident. In our previous vlogs, we were just trying to parang propagate yung mga leaves. And nung nilift nga natin, one of its leaves, sa ilalim niya, nandoon yung ating white grubs. We also have yung ating mga dead na weevil after biting nga yung succulent na may systemic insecticide in just one week. Talagang namatay na sila. Ganyan yung result. And that is something that we are trying to achieve na hopefully we can eliminate yung iba-ibang insect pests that we have. Ayan. So, of course, ano nga ba yung ginagamit nating brand? So, we have two here. Ayan. So, my very first choice would be this one, yung parang purplish in color. This is yung ating lead force na systemic insecticide. But later, did I found out na ito pala ay yung ating furadan. So, yung furadan at lead force, iisa lang pala sila. Nagpalit lang sila ng pangalan. Ito sana yung pinaka first choice ko kasi mas mura siya, parang nasa... 150 to 200 pesos lang yung isang kilogram nito, tiba Sobrang mura niya. But at the same time, this one is highly toxic to humans. Ayan. So, I'm not gonna be talking about the details of it. You can just search sa Google and you can read more information about Furedam. Although, I have read na this one is very effective in dealing with some of our common pests sa ating mga gardens. Pero I decided to make use of this. Ito yung ating Starkle G na magenta colored naman siya. I prefer this kasi it's safer to use. Kumbaga sa kanyang packaging, it says na it has a low toxicity to non-target such as humans sa ating mga mammals, especially if we have some pets around us, sa ating birds, and even to our environment. Kaya I prefer using itong ating Starkle G among other brands. Pero I think the only disadvantage of using Starkle G is medyo pricey siya. Yung 1 kilogram of this would cost you about almost 2,000 pesos. Ganun siya kamahal, tiba. So you can compare the difference. Yung isa, 145 per kilogram lang. While itong Starkle G, it's almost 2,000 pesos, diba? Kaya, medyo mahal siya, pero at least, diba? It's safer to use. Kasi, we need to prioritize our health kahit pa paano. But anyway, matipid naman siyang gamitin. Kasi, konti-konti lang yung application niya. So, ngayon, we will be removing some of the old soil nitong ating panda plant. Isa ito sa mga very first na succulents natin. I'm just using... I don't know. I think just a typical garden soil here. Nothing special pa talaga. And ayan pala oh, look at this. May nakita na naman tayong white grub dito nga sa ilalim ng kanyang soil or sa root area. Iba pa yung white grub na una nating nahuli I guess 2 weeks ago. Pero ito siya oh, tiba? So kung baga we cannot really tell if yung ating mga succulents or plants have white grubs sa loob. Kasi, for example, here, tiba Sa top part, it's very healthy na. Pakadami niya ng offsets. Pero sa ilalim pala, may mga pests na kumakain nung kanilang roots and they are slowly killing yung ating mga plants. Kaya, it's also important, tiba na maglagay or apply ng ating mga systemic insecticide. Kasi yung Starkle G pala, it's also effective kahit na doon sa mga pest na nasa pinakailalim ng ating soil. So, lahat ng hidden insects, it can eventually kill if and only if yung insect na yun would bite any part of our succulent na may systemic insecticide. Ayan siya, oh. Kakalagay lang natin sa soil pero... Nandun na siya agad sa pinakaloob. Ayan. And here's another one. Ayan. Ang lalaki nila, oh. Diba? Healthing, healthy sila. And they are killing my panda plant. Ayan. So, I think it's really timely for me to apply yung ating systemic insecticide. Kasi dumadami na nga yung ating mga succulents. 
dito sa ating rooftop and syempre we cannot really monitor them one by one anymore and the best and easiest solution for us is to apply yung ating mga systemic insecticide and ayan na nga I'm just trying to remove some of the old soil before we repot it ayan so so far tatlo lang yung nahuli nating white grub dito Paano ba gamitin yung ating mga systemic insecticide? So, depende na yan sa brand na ginagamit ninyo. But for me, this one, yung ating Starkle G, we're just gonna be putting it here sa ating pinaka-soil. You have the choice if you wanted to parang mix it entirely sa inyong soil mix. Pero mas magastos nga yun. Kaya sa akin, ilalagay ko lang siya dito sa area kung saan natin ilalagay yung ating root. So, pag mag kayo ng inyong mga succulents, ganito lang ang gawin ninyo. You can just simply add yung systemic insecticide dyan. Then, on top of it, doon natin ilalagay yung ating plant. So, here, ipapatong lang natin siyang ganyan. And then, after, syempre, tatabunan natin siya ng ating soil para ma-stabilize or ma-secure itong ating succulent Here is another example of our succulent na kinagat-kagat nung ating weevil. Look at those mga bite marks dyan. They are already permanent but I decided na wag tanggalin yung ating leaves kasi they would naturally dry and fall off naman. Kaya hayaan lang natin sila dyan. And so, if for example, ganito nga yung ating succulents na planted na siya and we wanted to apply yung ating systemic insecticide without uprooting, ang gagawin lang natin is to create a hole doon sa area na malapit sa kanyang root. So, I will be showing to you that one later. We also have another succulent, yung ating Echeveria mini bell. Ito yung sinacrifice nating succulent for our insecticide experiment. But in the next coming weeks, papagandahin natin siya. Kasi this succulent will turn red in color pag na fully stressed na siya. Ayan. But anyway, at least we have applied yung ating mga insecticide sa kanila. And we won't be worried anymore about yung mga pests na naninira sa kanila. And so, right now... Let's continue with the application of our systemic insecticide. It's best nga if you have yung parang tool na ganito yung pangbutas. So we're just gonna be creating a hole sa pinaka roots mismo. So gently lang naman yung pagbubutas natin kasi we are trying to avoid na masaktan yung pinaka roots ng ating succulent. Let's create another hole dito sa kabilang side para talagang well applied or evenly distributed yung ating systemic insecticide. So after that one, we are now ready to add. So ganyan lang siya, konting-konti lang naman. Depende sa pot size na inyong gagamitin but definitely you can just add about 1 gram or 2 grams of this per pot. Ayan o, may nangita tayong langgam doon. I hope na this one would also be effective against ants. Ayan. So, after that one, syempre we need to cover yung butas kung saan tayo naglagay na ating systemic insecticide. I am doing this para talagang secured yung ating insecticide sa loob na hindi talaga siya mahuhulog accidentally just in case na masagi nga natin yung ating mga plants. We can add some soil. Then, para talagang covered na covered siya. Lastly, before we end, I forgot to mention earlier na since our systemic insecticide would reach yung ating mga flower stalks ng ating mga succulents, it's best nga na tanggalin na lang natin sila so as yung ating mga pollinators such as yung ating bees, butterflies, and the birds kasi syempre kawawa naman sila if they would also be affected by the systemic insecticide. Although yung Starkle G naman has a low toxicity sa ating mga birds, pero I'm not sure about the bees and the butterflies, tiba. So, anyway, lastly then we have this pot of ghosty. 
I'm just gonna be showing to you again kung paano ba siya i-apply. So, ganyan. Create a hole and we're gonna be adding yung ating systemic insecticide. And, syempre, siguro after 2 days or 3 days, we can water this para talagang makompletely dissolve yung in-apply nating systemic insecticide and eventually, it will be distributed nga dito sa ating plant. And that's all for our systemic insecticide. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may also visit our Facebook page, A Desert Succulent PH.